Tonight, 13 Investigates is looking into Colorado's red flag laws and what role they could have played in a previous case with the accused Club Q shooter. Investigative reporter Sean Rice is live in studio to explain this law and who has the power to use it. Sean. Yeah, Barton Heather, Colorado law allows a family member, friend, or law enforcement officer to ask the court to take guns away from someone who is a threat to themselves or others. If a judge signs off on it, those guns can be removed for up to a year, but it's unclear if law enforcement or anyone else did that in this case. Got their rifles out. If they breach, I'm a Blow it to holy hell. This video obtained by 13 Investigates shows suspected Club Q shooter Anderson Aldrich moments before his June 2021 arrest. El Paso County Sheriff's Office arrested Aldrich for allegedly threatening his mother with multiple weapons and bomb threats. 13 Investigates confirmed the case was never prosecuted and there are no court records to show why. There are also no court records to show if law enforcement considered utilizing red flag laws in Aldrich's case after his arrest related to making threats to others. The 4th Judicial District Attorney Michael Allen responded to questions about that law on Tuesday. The DA's office doesn't play a part in the red flag law. Uh, that would be uh, up to a law enforcement agency. Uh, that's why I say nobody in this group can really answer that specific question. Um, it has to be initiated by law enforcement or a member of the public, uh, not by the DA's office. But 13 Investigates spoke with two current Colorado District Attorneys, a former DA and a criminal defense attorney. All of them say district attorneys in the state can utilize Colorado's red flag law. They absolutely have law enforcement uh, capabilities. They carry law enforcement badges. They have investigators on their staff with arrest capabilities. And the district attorney's office is without question a law enforcement agency. Huerfano County District Attorney Henry Solano says prosecutors can ask investigators in their office to petition for gun removal. Unless the DA's office does not have an investigator who by statute is also a law enforcement officer, they would use their investigator so that the, a, a deputy district attorney is not a witness in any hearing or proceeding related to the Colorado Red, Red, Colorado Red Flag Law. El Paso County Sheriff Bill Elder has previously said he would not utilize the red flag law, questioning its constitutionality. Sheriff Elder declined to speak with us today about this issue, saying there is an active investigation into that mass shooting. Reporting live in the studio, Sean Rice, 13 Investigates. Sean, thanks.